Hey yo, it's me, the bad guy, Zeke 410, back with a brand new video, and this is going to help out a lot of people. A lot of players always want to figure out a way to get brand new champions, whether it be an event, whether it be new uh, new loot pulls, but there's only a few times in champions where you actually get an opportunity to get a very solid champion or all around free play, uh, free champion without spending your hard earned cash or disposable income. But champions has finally answered the call in a way that a lot of people do not expect. By completing your daily missions, by doing all six, you're able to get this bag. And inside this bag right now, you are going to get 25 cash as well as one shard every single day to get a new champion absolutely free in Chad Gable. Now, Chad Gable is a part of American Alpha, a W. WWE tag team alongside Jason Jordan, the of uh, the son of Kurt Angle, who I have a feeling will be in the next bag once you complete 20 straight days of champions so that you can get all 20 shards to unlock and recruit Gable. So I'm going to go ahead and take this moment out to show you players that are looking for a new champion at without having to spend any money. You just got to go through and do the what you're supposed to and get these missions done and you will get a free champion absolutely free. So as you can see, we have a couple of missions right here. It says the the win a match on the road. We have to win a match in Dean's Daily, win a match in the Daily Class Tour, a match in Versus. Plus, we need to break six loot gems as well as use a health pack. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go, uh, go and do the Versus match first and get that one out of the way. So we're going to do that. And get rocking and a rolling. With the timer being down to three, this actually makes it quicker. So even though my Alexa Bliss isn't really leveled up on this account, we should be able to do enough once Bray comes into the picture. So that is what we are definitely going to be doing right here. We're basically going to go wait it out with Bliss, and then we're going to go in for the kill with Bray. So let's see what happens. This is when you make sure that your raw links are definitely in place. You want to make sure that's always rocking and rolling every single time. So we're going to go ahead and take this purple. We're going to get our red for Bray as well as our blues for Bliss. We're going to do a little bit of damage. Now, my Bliss isn't even level right now on this account. Like, legit, isn't even leveled. So, we're going to see. We just got to make it through another round. We'll get this one out of the way easy. How do y'all feel about the mix match versus? Like, legit, you have to end up using, like, everybody. Like, it's ladies first. And then it's three turns. So literally, you only have a little bit of time to get the gems you need. I personally, I've just been running Bliss on my uh, on my account. I've basically been just running her and getting her to um, get the reds for Bray. And Bray just goes in for the kill every single time. So some people say it's a headache. But honestly, it isn't that bad. It really isn't. It's just one of those scenarios where you just got to get used to it. Now, I do feel that we should have at least had a choice. Like, I feel that we should have the choice to decide if we want to just run both men tag teams or run a women's tag or like the mixed match i think we should have those different variations and plus it'd be cool if we had different um rewards for those different um uh, different types of things so maybe if you ran both women in a tag then you would be able to like get some uh, like shards for like a champion or maybe you run the men it's the same thing you get shards for a male champion or if you run the mixed match you get like one one shard each for a male and a female so what do y'all think what would you like to see go down so that you know versus can still be like favorable to a lot of people because some people do not feel like playing with a woman all the time and plus with the timer some people think that's not fair but if you got a two like a two turn killer or the right trainers on you know it's not going to be difficult at all to like go into versus get in and out get your fame rewards and keep rocking in a rolling but it definitely is something to to consider and keep in mind too you know you got to be considerate of the community but ultimately it's not that serious to me i could care less if you want your fame rewards if you want to rank up then you're going to do what you got to do and again 
all you really need is, if anything, just let your um, female champion, you know, just do as much as she can, get the gems for your male champion, and bring him in to finish it out and close it out. So that's really all you want to really do anyway. You shouldn't even be tripping about it. So we're going to kick out of this, we're going to get out of this, and then we're going to um, send um, Braun packing. We're literally going to send him packing on this one, and then we'll move on to the other ones. We'll move on to the other matches, and we'll just keep on rolling. We're definitely going to probably switch over to using cast, so that way we can guarantee that we get some loot boxes. Unless we get lucky here and we get a couple loot boxes right down, the, down below. But if not, we're just optimistic. We'll see what happens. But we got the win for Versus. That's the first thing you want to do, people. Get Versus out of the way. That one's literally like the one that could be like the most difficult or most frustrating. And we got two birds, one stone. We got Versus and we got the loot, uh, the loot boxes. All right, so that's solid right there. We take care of that. We head back, we get out, we get our fame, and you always want to make sure that you're doing this. You always want to make sure. Now, my personal uh, idea is this to y'all. What do y'all think about the um, the bags, like with the shards situation? Because I feel the shards are great, but I also am afraid what if um, they decide, you know, to take back the shards one time? You know, what if they decide, hey, we're done, we're done running the shards, we're not doing it anymore. So what happens if you have like 400 shards for Macho Man Acrobat and then they cut it off like... I feel honestly you should be able to get Macho Man if you have like if you're that close to getting the shards now we're going to do the um, road tour here and it doesn't have to be on hell mode you can literally do it on uh, on normal just do one node just go in beat Bray and just call it a day that's literally all you have to do just go in beat Bray and you get that in one node down I always get my daily missions out of the way before I officially do my full runs of tours so that way you know I'm I'm not forgetful about it and I can get it because literally just to hop on 20 days straight, do what you're supposed to do and get a free champion for your work, for your work and your effort. You can't beat that. You really can't. And even with a guy like Cass, they took away his link, you know, his um, show link because he's no longer in the in the um, um, organization anymore. Even though they took it away, if you got Bray at a solid at a solid level. You don't even have to worry about anything. He's still going to get the job done. He's still going to get uh, get his blast gems and blow up the board for you. The only downside that I always say about um Cass is he's a solid champion. He can uh, he literally can walk through a lot of um feuds and everything very fast, but inevitably his blast gem uh, his blast gem damage is always really inconsistent it's very it's always hitting a miss so you never know what you're going to get when it comes to Cass and his blast gems like one time he might he might clear everybody out the next time he might not but ultimately still a very solid champion in his own right but who do you feel like well, who do you want to see in the personal bags like we see that they said that there's if you look at the shards for Dusty Rhodes it says 20 could Dusty Rhodes possibly be a future champion that's going to be in these bags we do not know but it's a, that would be a cool thing especially with him being a hybrid champion and whatnot with um protect gems and yellow gems after um Sting was introduced with the um color turn in the blue that would be pretty cool to get um Dusty Rhodes for free now what do y'all feel about well with the uh, with the direction of champions? We got the four stars, we got the women now, we got the tra three trainer setup, four trainer setup, depending on how high you get with your four star champion. So, what do you think? Uh, like, how uh, where are you? Where do you think the direction is going with the game? Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Also, I want to show this to people. Now, obviously, they just unlocked. The SummerSlam tour, they um, they just literally unlocked that for um, Hell Mode. And if you get Hell Mode, you can literally go in here. And as you can see, like four stars are required for that. But the rewards are OP. And obviously, the XP is going to be even more incredible. But until then, if you cannot get to Hell Mode on Summer Showdown, one thing you definitely want to do, go and do is go and run Hell Mode European Tour Rome. And you're going to go to node 75. I mentioned this in a, in a post on Twitter. You face um, Mark Henry and um, Rusev, both the three star gold. If you beat them legit, you're getting five, you're getting 712 
XP towards your person, towards your level, towards your account, as well as 712 faction XP, which is very useful when you're starting out a faction or you're trying to build up a faction to get to tier 61 and higher so that you can get the great rewards from your expeditions. So please do yourselves a favor, do your faction a favor, level up high and quick by literally grinding out the Helmo tour of your Euro, of European tour, Rome Node 75. Okay, it's going to be the third one with Triple H uh, with, right there, Rome, and literally it's going to be 75, the 75th node. Once you get here, like just farm it out because aside from the sh summer showdown hell mode, this is going to be the best node to grind out and get your XP up because even if you do um hell mode for the class tours and everything in the dailies. It, the, the XP is crap. The XP is crap for your faction. But right here, you're going to get enough for yourself as well as your um, as well as your faction. Now we got the road tour down. So now we have a couple more to go. Now we go to the LT tour right over here. Now we're going to do Dean's Daily. We just do one note of Dean's Daily. And that's what you're going to do. Especially if you're just starting out too. This is a good way to literally just even use your champions that are real low. Get them in. Get them out. Do one thing. Make sure that they're successful uh, with, uh, with what they're about to do. And boom. Boom. In 20 days, you'll have another champion. You'll have Chad Gable. And more than likely, he's going to be two-star. So that's nothing wrong with getting a solid two-star absolutely free. Again, this is a way that Champions is improving the game. We got four stars now. We got women. We have the men, obviously. We're still going to be expanding the men's division. We got the women's division um, going to be expanding. So I have a feeling that Ronda Rousey's um, um, banner is about to drop. I think after Charlotte, I think it's going to be like Ronda and Oscar. So it's going to be interesting. It's actually going to be a real interesting um, sight to see with the future of WWE champions because there's a lot of females that a lot of people would like to see. Also, there's like rumor, rumor has it that we may possibly be getting a DX event. So what do y'all want to see from that? Do you want to get a champion for free? Do you think we should get a champion for free? Like the same way that we got um, Jeff Hardy, um, Zombie KO, Double A. Um, a lot of these champions, as well as Alexa Bliss, a lot of these free-to-play champions that we have been able to able to acquire through Scopely's generosity has have literally been some very top-tier champions. And if you're playing free-to-play, you even got Andre the first time out in the greatest tournament when champions first came out, you know? So they are solid with what they give out to people. You just got to be appreciative and not ask for too much. But ru the, rumor real the rumor mill keeps on spinning about DX, DX, DX. So will we see DX? I look forward to it. But the question is, who would you want for free? Would you want another Triple H or would you want another HBK? Or... Or, hear me out on this, what if we get X-Pac as the champion and we have to use X-Pac to unlock um, Triple H and um, HBK? That would actually be a unique twist because he is a member of DX and he, ha he has literally been a, a part of that faction for ages. So, I don't know. I don't know, but it's something that gets my mind um, like running and spinning, and I actually look forward to seeing what happens because it will be really cool to get uh, get DX. And also with Hogan coming back, man, and, and them doing the NWO um, video, man, it would be, I'm calling it, theorizing it, it would be cool if Champions did a DX versus NWO event and literally you had people pick sides and like legit, if you pick the DX side, then you get one of the DX members and you have to use the DX members to unlock the NWO or like vice versa or basically the same concept. Let me um, rephrase that. If you get DX then you have to use the DX members to unlock the rest of the members of DX but if you choose NWO then you got to use Hall and Nash to unlock Hogan if you understand what I'm saying so I, 
I don't know, man. Like, I love this game, and I love what they do uh, with the events. These events are killer. Freaking killer. Like, but you just gotta be smart about your resources as well. You don't wanna get, uh, you don't wanna play yourself out. You don't wanna, um, you know, cut yourself short. You always wanna be smart and have enough resources so you can do these events, like uh, the, su the sub category events, like the TP, the coins, and the enhancements. But other than that, like, it's still just a, a, an enjoyment to play just to have something unique to do because if you're all into one of these events you don't stop you know you uh, you keep on going you you don't give up but you also gotta be honest with yourself too i just like i was th th thinking earlier with my faction like invasions are great like the chance at a three-star gold rock or some shards that's amazing plus the like the coins like one of my boys got two million coins like that helps out a lot of new players and it's another great way to get um free champions because of the of the crates and what they offer inside them for people so the crates are great but at the same time with how they're running invasions at the moment it can be a very like you know exhausting especially if you don't have the proper resources to run invasions frequently the same goes with faction fuse like just because it's there doesn't mean you have to play you and your faction have to be honest with yourselves and be like do we have enough health packs to run this do we have enough tokens to run this are, are our champions strong enough to participate at that level at the moment and if they're not there is nothing wrong with Taking a, taking a bow out, focusing on your roster, building that up, and making yourself efficient. Now, we just finished all the tours. We got all of our, all of our victories there. Plus, we were able to break six uh, um, loot gems. Now, all that's left is to use one health pack, and now we got all six of the daily missions complete. That is literally easy. The only reason why it took longer for me to do is because I'm talking, and it's, and it's uh, sometimes hard to multitask. But you just go in, you get all of your, uh, your daily rewards, and that is going to unlock the bag which you are about to see and inside that bag is going to be the shard as well as the 25 cash for Chad Gable now we go over here we got uh, got something in our inventory the new bag so we're going to run over here and we're going to do this as well so one thing that I like to do is like the loot will show up the way it usually does with all this useless stuff. I would like to suggest something right now. It would be cool if we were able to take all of the stuff that we don't use, like the clo like the um, four leaf clovers, or you know the coal, the the skulls, the shirts, um, the crowbars. Um, it would be cool if they gave us an uh, gave us an option for to take to trade all this in for shards. That would be pretty sick. Take the like, like swap this out for shards, swap this out for like maybe four star tokens or three star tokens, um, TP, um, that would be pretty cool because a lot of people don't like sitting here lo looking at all this stuff, like, especially if you can't use it, you know, like what's the point of just having it take up space now? One thing you always want to do is you want to swap. You want to swap your loot. So as you can see, first we had uh, first we had everything here, and then you just uh, you just hit the um, up and down button on the far right, and now we can go to the bag, and it's going to have the um, shards as well as the cash. Now that was the wrong bag. They both look similar, but as you can see, your daily mission bag. You, f you fulfill all six missions, you win in Versus, you win on the road, you win in Dean's Daily, you win in the class tour, you break six loot gems, and you use one health pack, you are able to access this every single day, and you're going to go and unlock this every single day for 20 days, and you will be given Chad Gable American Alpha. Now, more than likely, since he's coming out first, we will possibly see Jason Jordan next. They could switch it up. I don't know, but it would make sense to have them come uh, come out back to back and the other question is can we expect all um shard champions to be 20 a piece or is there going to be certain event champions like you know certain months where maybe we do get that situation like for instance where we have a dx event the theoretically um you get hbk or um a triple h or xbox either or you get one of them for free by doing the first note of the tour right then you have the champ, the other, the opposite that you have that you acquire through the vaults. And then you, through the month of that month long event, if you log in every day, you will get the other member. So if we get HBK, 
free, then we have to get Triple H out of the vaults. But we get if we log in and do our daily missions every single day throughout that DX event, then we unlock X-Pac. That would be cool. The same thing could possibly go for NWO. We get Kevin Nash or we get Scott Hall this time. We use Scott Hall to unlock Nash from the vaults or, uh, or better yet, we use Scott Hall to unlock Hogan from the vaults. And then if you log in every single day, you get NWO Nash. So that's what I'm thinking. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? So we collect the shard. The shard's going to go to our bag. We got one out of 20. We do this 20 days. We get a free champion, plus we get 25 cash. So that's the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Plus, if you're new, make sure to drop a people's elbow on the subscribe button as well as hit a razor's edge on that bell icon for future notifications, y'all. And that is how we acquire our absolutely free champion. Complete your daily missions for 20 days straight, get Chad Gable, look forward to who's next, who do you think it's going to be, and who do you think the next big banner of female and male champion are going to be that we have not seen? Bobby Lashley, possibly. Um, like I just suggested, um, Ronda Rousey, maybe Trish Stratus, maybe, uh, maybe Lita, who knows? Hopefully China. But until next time, remember, bad times don't last forever, but bad guys do. Crowned Arizona, family first, royalty always. Stay tuned. Peace.